Welcome back to the Graphite Universe, Season 1, Episode 4, where we review natural versus synthetic graphite and take a look at Novonix Limited. There are two types of graphite used in battery anode material, natural graphite, which is mined from the ground, and synthetic graphite, which is made using needle coke, a byproduct of oil refining. Remember the tax incentives in the Inflation Reduction Act? $7,500 goes to consumers, and manufacturers get tax credits on production. The key components must be assembled in the United States, and there are certain percentage minimums for mineral content. Novonix is in a great position because it does not rely on anything outside of the United States in order to create synthetic graphite. The cool thing about Novonix is that they have more than just ideas on paper. They have an actual synthetic graphite plant in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Starting with 3,000 tons per year by the end of 2024 and then scaling up to 20,000 tons per year from 2025 and beyond. The company has in place a number of offtake agreements already signed, one with Core Power for up to 12,000 tons per year, with Panasonic for 10,000 tons per year from 2025 to 2028. Panasonic, of course, provides batteries to Tesla and Toyota and others. Pause for a moment and take a look at the chart on the right. It depicts three things, the demand for synthetic graphite and the supply in 2025 and 2030. And in green, the amount of synthetic graphite that Novonix will cover. The demand in 2030 is almost 1.5 million tons. And Novonix in green intends to provide 150,000 tons of synthetic graphite. Let's put that into perspective. Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada is able to produce 100 gigawatt hours of EVs per year. A single Tesla Model 3 has a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. So that's about 1.3 million units per year. Okay, we're gonna crunch some numbers to look at the supply and demand mismatch. A typical 60 kilowatt hour EV contains 52 kilograms of graphite. When we use these inputs to determine the graphite requirements of a 30 gigawatt fact, we see that a plant that size would require approximately 26,000 tons of graphite per year for one plant. The scale of the opportunity is just astounding. If you take McKinsey's forecast for 4,700 gigawatt hours by 2030 across the world, that's about 4 million tons of graphite. The United States is currently producing less than 50,000 tons per year. Novonix isn't even producing 3,000 tons per year, and, the, and they're the American leader. Truly, this review only scratches the surface of the company's capabilities. We looked at it within the narrow scope of synthetic graphite, but they've got a battery testing lab. Unlike their competitors, the founder, Chris Burns, great communicator, really easy to follow his earnings call and his interviews on YouTube. And they have an AI and machine learning data group in-house. They have a whole cathode business segment with a promising future. The stock recently regained its position above the 50-day moving average. When a stock price crosses above its 50-day moving average, it's considered a significant positive signal in technical analysis. <laughs>